Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Internet. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I hope your day's going well. I haven't had my coffee yet. I mean, I've had some of my coffee. I've had a little bit of my coffee. I like my coffee. It's delicious. This episode brought to you by Snoopy. This is IT Life. I am Craig, the tech teacher. I work IT for a small business, about 20 computers, and since it's small business, I wear many hats. I do a little bit of engineering, I do a little bit of programming, I do a little bit of web design, do a little bit of everything at our shop. And so IT Life is kind of a day in my life, whether it be professional or personal. It's my vlog, if you will. My vlog that will set the tone for when my kids go back and be extremely embarrassed by how I was when I was 20, 30 years old. I'm 31. Oh, wow. I am 31 years old. Anyways, it's a, it's a time of reflection. And let's reflect. Let us reflect on yesterday. Yesterday was great, except for the fact that I decided to have Arby's for lunch, and then except for the fact that I decided to overeat it. I'm not against Arby's. Arby's is delicious. Problem is, is when I overeat fast food for lunch, I tend to like become lethargic and completely useless in the afternoon. And so like I went from literally like 100% productivity to maybe like 30%. But hey, that's part of the deal. Usually at the beginning of the week, I have to go buy like a whole bunch of like pre-made meals to put in my fridge at work simply because like it's amazing how much food makes a difference in my my like emotional state uh so do with that what you will but on the on the productive side yesterday i did fix a registration issue on my wordpress site and well here's one of the things that's kind of frustrating about wordpress i don't know if you guys have worked with it before uh but wordpress is it it's amazing the platform is absolutely incredible but it has a lot of, when you have a big site or a professional site on WordPress, it has a lot of dependency on third party developers who have written plugins and extensions that might not necessarily support that plugin extension or theme indefinitely. Perfect example is the theme that we use for our website uh, has outdated files because our e commerce plugin has been updated faster than the developer who wrote the theme could update it. And then I go to the actual website to get the update, the theme update that I need from this developer. Yeah, he hasn't posted a comment on his own support thread for like a year. And so I'm like, well, I guess I'm on my own on this one. So I'm really left with like two choices. Either I learn how to update this theme on my own, which it isn't that dramatically big of a deal, um, or I actually have to change the theme, which is a big deal because your customers are already used to the layout and structure of your page. So you don't really want to go in and just start and just like apply a whole new theme to your site. For those of you who don't know, a theme for a website is essentially the look on WordPress. It handles all the style sheets and formatting for the, the website without affecting any of your data that's going on in the background. Um, so what I ended up having to do for this particular registration issue is actually disable an old part of the theme so that the plugin could take over and then it started working. But that's the point is like I literally have to maintain all of these different plugins and themes that I didn't develop to begin with, which is fine. Uh, but that is one of the frustrating aspects of WordPress is that's part of the maintenance aspect of WordPress. Now, that being said, WordPress is so powerful. Like, I, as one guy, was able to, to develop, like, an enterprise-level e-commerce site. One guy, you know? Like, if I sat down and did that from scratch, it would take years. And it probably wouldn't be as stable. And even if it was as stable, it would have lots of overhead, a lot of debugging, a lot of testing that would be necessary to get it to work. So, as one person, you can do a lot with WordPress, but it does come at a cost, Right? And so my hope is moving forward with WordPress development that I will become less dependent on all of these third-party plugins and I can kind of like slowly build my own plugins maybe that I can maintain uh, or maybe that are cleaner. Like, because when they write a plugin, they write it for like as many people as possible, but I could write a plugin that's just specific to my needs. And so it would be cleaner and have less overhead and less maintenance issues. That's it. That's all I got for today. A little bit of knowledge into WordPress. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, I appreciate your comments. I don't always get to reply to them, but I always appreciate them. And uh, subscribe and share, and I will see you guys tomorrow.